and now on the internet, a party political broadcast from Star Force. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of planet Earth. My name is Commander New Star, and I am devising the Star Force Initiative by which to cultivate mankind into a more progressive, positive, and optimistic outlook towards a more holy future, which won't be boring at all, and also will not tolerate those practices which, according to the holy prophecies of our ancient seer and master of the saints, St. John the Divine, will have you all down to hell. I know that sounds a little strong, but we know our Bible to some degree, and we know of the fates. The fates are relevant, one could say, in the modern world, given its wealth of abominations and its wealth of sins. If you are unrepentant of these things, you can consider yourself terminated come Judgment Day. I do not lie. This is the hard reality of living with the knowledge that there is a holy supreme God watching over all of us somehow with his host of angelic, intergalactic, higher beings made of pure light, it seems. Humanoid in shape, blue was the color that I met, but they came to me one night after I worked out how to contact space used by studying st dust particles on my computer lip and then mapping those particles into my computer and finding a patch using a star chart. Once I did that, I was visited. I've done it twice. The first time, far more effective than the second, although on both times I got results in my visual view. And as any quantum scientist will tell you, Reality is observation. Now, I don't have evidence of this, because you can't photograph what you don't know is going to occur at any given point in time, and even if I could, I need some kind of high electronic spectral camera system to capture what I saw with my own eyes, and it wasn't an hallucination, because hallucinations don't involve telekinesis, okay? They flicked the cigarette out of my mouth and it burnt my hoodie in bed. It set fire on my hoodie in bed. And I had to put out the flames. Okay? So that was one thing that happened to me. I've also been haloed by God himself with a halo. The crown of life, as mentioned in James 1.12, if you like. And yes, I did get to the point of what I thought was death to receive it. But uh, that was a long time ago in a very disturbed point where I thought I had accidentally cultivated a war just by turning up at a festival and not doing anything particularly wrong, just standing around looking handsome and awesome. And they all wanted to get killed and die for each other. It was insane. That's why you shouldn't do hard drugs, kids. They make you loopy. Okay? So here's the list of the eight, eight hellfire sins during the apocalypse you do not want to subscribe to. Okay? Hard drug users, quit that shit immediately if you're into that because that's going to get you torched. Liars, all liars, shall be terminated, okay? Perverts, and that certainly includes porn, okay? That, they're, they're going down. Cults, right? Basically, a cult is an idolatry to a false system of practice and religion, okay? We do not associate with that. We just deal with what is real under our knowledge of the Savior, Jesus Christ, and God. Murderers. Murders, well, most people would accept that murdering is wrong, but you've got to have the faith to go through life without doing that or even thinking about it, really, because if you're a nice, decent, sensible, intelligent person, why would you even really think about murdering someone? Unless they were truly evil, but then their evil is going to be torched come judgment day anyway, so you don't take it upon yourself to do these things, you leave it in the hands of God. And I've seen karma, and yes, I do believe in karma as a Christian. I believe karma is just... Uh, 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 an Indian name for cause and effect within the supernatural spiritual realm. Those who do wicked tend to have wicked things happen to them, and that is the way it probably should be. Okay, vile practices, not that head on, on you know, not that on the head immediately. It's not going to get you anywhere. It's going to be a nightmare. It's going to be a fast track to Hades. Okay, cowards living in fear. Right, it's not going to be good for your health at all. It's not good. You've got to be. I, when I say fearless, I don't mean stupid. I don't mean live recklessly and dangerously. That's not the antithesis of being of living in fear. It's just don't live in fear. Have no fear. Release fear from your mind and live in light, love, peace, and wonder. And hilarity. Why not hilarity? Hilarity's good. Laughing. I like laughing. It's good. It's fun. And lastly, not least, unbelievers. 
Sorry to all you atheists out there, but I'm yet to meet an atheist who actually knows the full biscuits of what they're talking about without them slandering me mentally ill because I know things on the supernatural level they have no idea or even feasible because they're caught in the fiscal matrix. Do you understand? That most people out there, especially atheists, are purely money orientated. Now, I'm not saying we do away with money. Okay? That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying if you make it your primary focus, you might become a millionaire. You might be. But is it really what you want? Is it really what we're aspiring to? Or do you want holy, divine illumination under the knowledge of there being a supreme God who chooses you and selects you to be one of his chosen himself upon a higher power of knowledge? That to me is worth more than Bill Gates could ever afford. And it gives me so much hope, I believe Star Force could be a way forward for lots of us. That is all I would like to say at this juncture, because I'm amazed I've even managed to get this far without screwing up. So in light of that, I'm going to say, to eternity and beyond, and then some.